What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. What I would like to show you today is a Spigot server plugin called Bannerboard, which allows you to have customized messages as images on maps in your Minecraft server world. This is a product placement because I am getting paid to make this video. Nevertheless, I have to say that I do enjoy this plugin and can only recommend it to some server owners who want to customize the world for their players. So let me just show you uh, what you can do with it. So this is uh, just a wall with some maps in front and you can have custom images, text and the skin or head of a player um, on that map. So as you can see it says welcome to the server crush pixel or crpxl because that's my in-game name and it actually displays my in-game skin on that image so for example if i had a different account for example if i'm notch it would say welcome to the server notch and display the notch skin there this plugin is highly customizable so i can just show you another example this has a different font the impact meme font and it has a different background, which is something I made uh, some time ago and I really love it. But yeah, so you can really uh, display anything you wish on that, uh, on that banner. And I'm just going to explain to you how simple it is to set this up and to create your own customized banners. So first of all, you need to have a wall where you want to place the banner on. So. I've just placed some stone blocks there. It really has to be a solid wall. And then to start creating the banner, you need to type slash BB create in the console. I believe you have to be an administrator to do so. And then place uh, the redstone blocks you get in the corners of the desired banner location. So it says successfully generated board four between points and points. And now I'm going to open the plugin configuration file and show you what you can do with this newly created banner. So I'm here in the folder where the Spigot server is running. As you can see, uh, this is just on my local hard drive, but it's just literally the same if you're on an FTP server with your server. So you just go to the plugins folder, banner board, and open the config file with an editor of your choice. And as you can see, there's some stuff going on here already from the other banners that I've previously created. And yeah, so you just scroll down until you find the most recently created banner. And here in the configurable section, you can uh, define the renderers. So in this case, uh, if I were to do slash BB reload, it would just show a black wall because uh, everything that is set is a color renderer that renders the color black. So there are four types of renderers which you can use. The first one is image, text, color and skin. So those are the renderers that you can use. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and create a very simple one using an image as a background some text in a custom font uh, at a certain location and a player head in the center. So I'm going to remove the color part, make sure to leave the hyphen in the beginning. I'm going to type image minus src for source and then I'm going to type the name of the image that I want to add which is bg2.png. This image has to be in the images folder on your server like uh, there's this images folder and I have the BG1 which you've seen in the beginning, the MLG cat and the BG2 for the second background which I'm going to use now. So I'm just going to hit save, reload the uh, plugin real quick and you can see um, this is what it looks like. Minecraft can only display 144 colors which is why uh, it doesn't show it in its full depth but we can actually um, move the image a little bit on on the on the banner because as you can see this is not centered it only shows the upper left corner uh, 
of this image. Actually, I think it is centered. It is centered, but it doesn't show everything. So we can just uh, decide to use an X offset of maybe 100 pixels. And as you can see, it's being moved 100 pixels to the right. But of course, we do not uh, want that. You can also uh, set a certain width to the uh, to the uh, to the image on the banner, and because every single map item is 128 by 128 pixels, I'm just gonna calculate eight times 128 pixels to find out that the whole the whole banner is 1,024 pixels wide. So if I'm just gonna do this, reload, as you can see. Uh, it stretches the whole image to fit onto that banner and you can play around with that a little bit more there is a website in the video description that explains very well uh, which parameters you can add to customize how images text and colors and skins are being rendered so yeah this is just going to be our background image then uh, additionally I would like to add some text so I'm gonna add text, minus text, uh, hello, name, like this. And the percent name percent part is going to be replaced by the username of the currently logged in player. So if I'm just gonna save this and reload, uh, it uses the default font on my operating system, which is quite an unreadable font. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it the very much beloved Comic Sans font. As you can see, there we go. Let me just uh, upscale this a bit. And there we go. We have it saying, hello crushed pixel CRPXL, which is my username as you can see um, on that banner. And we can, of course, change the color of the text by typing color. We can even make it uh, a bit transparent. Whoops, I need to reload it. As you can see, this is a gray color and because uh, the alpha channel is not at 255, it's not uh, fully opaque. As you can see, now it is. So you can play around with that. You can also change the thickness of the stroke around uh, the around the text. But I'm not going to show that now. I'm just going to show uh, the Y offset for now. And if I want to have it like 100 pixels from the top of the banner, I'm just going to type Y offset 100. And yeah, the lower part. It's actually 100, and pix 100 pixels from the top of the banner. So now it says hello crush pixel and I can prominently place a, a skin or my head in the middle of the image. So I'm just gonna do skin minus type head minus width uh, let me make it for 500 wide and 500 tall as you can see this is my head I can also make it 3d if I wish let's make it a little bit smaller there we go now it's uh, somewhat stretched because it doesn't have equal width and height so I'm just gonna uh, stick with the normal head and there we go so now finally I'd like to show you the color renderer and therefore I'm just going to uh, tint the background image red and to do so I'm going to add a color renderer after the image to define the color we just do minus color then the RGB values of the color 
uh, if it's red let's make it 255 0 0 and 100 to make it not fully opaque and as you can see only the background is tinted red now so it's really very simple to install this uh, to install and use this plugin it really didn't take uh, long to figure out how everything works and you can actually buy this plugin for $15 uh, this is intended by the developer because it truly was a lot of work to create this and it's really great and highly customizable so I can only recommend it to server owners if you want to spice up your uh, lobby a bit without having to tediously uh, generate such maps yourself in the in the world and you can also customize it. Actually this plugin was created to be highly efficient and lightweight so yeah, it doesn't really eat up a lot of performance, as you can see. So, thank you for watching. Make sure to buy this plugin if you like it. And if you don't, give this video a thumbs up anyway. So, again, this is a product placement, but I highly enjoyed uh, playing around this plugin. And I think it can be a nice addition to one's server world. So, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!